Hey, how are you guys? It is Harrison Barron from Growth Generators. Now in this video, I wanna share with you guys how to connect your Wix website to the MLS. Now there's gonna be a couple different parts of this video that you will need to follow and have your real estate agent, if you're not one and you're a developer, speak to a broker. So first and foremost, we're gonna be diving into a website and ultimately the goal of this is to allow a viewer of the website to be able to search basically the NMLS, the National Multiple Listing Service, to find homes it's very similar to Zillow, homes in their price range, homes in their area, maybe even homes that the uh, seller has, right, or the real estate agent has, and homes that people are currently looking at. A ton of information, but we're going to dive through and go through every single thing in here. But why would you want to do this? Ultimately, real estate agents work really, really hard to get new clients, and for a good reason. One, they provide a ton of value and they get paid well for the services that they provide. The problem is, is when you use a program like Zillow or one of these other Redfins and you put in, I want to work with an agent, they automatically match you with an agent, which is fine. But a lot of real estate agents have worked really hard to build up their client portfolio, get found online, pay for ads, even blog and do search engine optimization. And thus you don't want to let somebody go to Zillow and then they work with somebody else instead. So this is to expedite that entire process, give you a page on the website that is super easy for basically anybody to use. So let's jump right in here and I'm going to turn on some music as well. But we have the website that we're currently working on. So this website is about to get redone, but I wanted to just go through the whole process here and we're testing out background images, but Real estate agent from Long Island, him and his wife, good friends of mine, and they provide a fantastic service and a real white glove feel to everything that they provide. Now, the cool part is, is they do quite a bit for on Google and get traffic in a variety of different areas. This is comforting. Let's give that a quick restart. That's the first time I've ever seen that after being on this website thousands of times. But when they click search, they're gonna be able to go through and see all of the properties in the area. Now, these guys specifically are in East Meadow and right off the bat, it wants you to register. It wants to capture that lead. Now, in this case, it doesn't particularly matter, but just so you can see price, beds, baths, types, right? More, any features that you might be looking for. That's all gonna be found directly in here. And it's cool. Now, this is built and used in something called an iframe. So in the Wix backend, you'll actually be able to go and I'll be able to jump to their page here. But you'll actually see that this brings it in, but there's a change website address. So you'll have to add an iframe or HTML code to the website. And what's gonna happen is it's going to ask you for either code or a website address. This is what you need to get. Now there are two companies out there that currently offer that. That is iHome Finder and it would have helped if I didn't close it out, and IDX Broker. Now, both of these, I'm impartial to. You could use either one. They have slightly different feels on the back end. They both do cost money. Now, as a developer, this is something you can either choose to pass on to the agent, or you can choose to cover the cost and ask, you know, mark it up for the agent, whatever you prefer. I will say, upon doing this, you have to be very careful. Either one of these, iHome Finder and IDX Broker, will not sell you a package or if they do they'll take your money and they won't give you access to it the reason being is there is a lot of legal compliance that agents and idx brokers such as idx broker and ihome finder need to abide by now as a registered real estate agent you get an nmls number and you also get uh different access when you're in a brokerage i don't know exactly what you get because i'm not a real estate agent but i do know that they have to jump through several hoops when I was doing the research for them and found these companies, the companies would say, hey, we'll give you a full demo of it. But as soon as I went to buy, I needed to have the agent there. They had to have a separate quick little meeting. They discussed money and all that. And then afterwards, I was then emailed the links to the website. Now I'm gonna show you the back end. It's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna hide all of the sensitive information here, but I just wanna share that you as a developer cannot just go in and do this. They are going to stop you and they're gonna force you into having your real estate agent on the call specifically. So IDX, uh, IDX Broker or iHome Finder, 
right they both have different plans whatever you prefer uh but you can go through that and i would definitely recommend getting a demo between the two to figure out what's going to be best uh for you now if you're just thinking about starting a brand new website and you want this kind of all built in, I would highly, highly recommend a program called chime.me. It's fantastic or go high level. If you want a more customized plan, I would recommend a platform called HubSpot because it could be your entire back end of your entire digital marketing area and your website, which is fantastic. That's currently what they have. I am a HubSpot partner. However, I've used other, I've used the chime.me before and I've used go high level. They are fantastic programs. In the case of these individuals, they do a lot in the community. They're constantly out networking. They help put on events. They do fundraisers. They do quite a bit. And because of that, HubSpot just made more sense. If you have an agent that is just grinding away and wants to hit the phones or is looking to you know, grow their business aggressively and is not so heavily involved with meeting people who aren't their ideal clients, then Chime.me or Go High Level is definitely a different and potentially a better option for you. Feel free to jump on my newsletter, by the way, there is a link down below. Uh, I'd be happy to help you or reach out. We can discuss how I might be able to help your situation. So in this case, we're gonna go through and I'm just going to black out the screen here because there is some sensitive information. But you'll see here, this is the back end of iHome Finder. Now, it's going to bring you directly to the overview. We don't particularly want the overview. We actually want the setup area. And when that come, when that loads, you will then be able to see this information. From here, you're going to be able to go to IDX page links. And those IDX page links are going to be the links that you are allowed to have. Now, once again, you, none of this will populate until after the real estate agent talks to iHome Finder and IDX broker. That's just how it goes. They have to talk about, you know, there's legal paperwork that needs to be signed and all that kind of stuff. But you'll be able to see all of these. Now, this is super simple. You could go in. It's as simple as dropping in that code here and you're good to go. That's it. This will automatically pre-populate. You can go through, you can see all of this information here. And depending on what kind of pages you're creating or what you want to provide for this person, this is going to be what you want to see. Mobile links, right? You have your MLS listing, map search, uh, email updates, featured listings. You could use these in all different areas of your website. I will say, be careful, don't get carried away, but it looks great. It provides functionality, it does exactly what it's supposed to. Now I will also preface with, this is version nine. They did just release a version 10 of their product. It is slightly different and adding it, but like I said, their website's about to get rebuilt. So as soon as it's rebuilt, we'll be on version 10 and I'll be making an additional video on how to do that as well. Uh, that'll be in editor X also, but this is a great layout of how to do it. If you're a real estate agent, you're looking to get the same functionality, please reach out. I'd love to help you. And if you're a developer and you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd love to uh, assist you guys. But this is it. That's super straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, love you guys. Bye.